looky who it is. You are the best girl. You know that, right? As a donor to the museum, I gotta give Spidey some serious cred. If you die again, could we bring you back again? I have no idea. Strange went on about nigh inconceivable power, and the rarest of curios were expended in your first resurrection. Assuming we had all that, would it work? It might. Sounds like you have a plan. <laughs> Are you kidding? I have five plans. If you're the key to all this, keeping you breathing is the only thing that matters. I don't expect it to happen, but I'd rather prepare for it when it does. Smart. You mean genius, and yes, I am. Hanging with Tony's always a good time. What is that strange ripple in the air? It is not quite wind. I knew you would sense it. It's the transmigration of life essences from one level of existence to the next. Human souls? No. Insects, birds, other creatures. The Abbey is a waypoint where the veil between planes is quite thin. During quiet times such as this, you could actually feel it happening. 
I didn't want you to miss it. That was thoughtful of you to think of me, Doctor. If I am anything, Hunter, it's full of thoughts. Maybe too many, swirling around in my head, crashing against each other in a chaotic cosmos of ideas that is the madness of my mind. Reminding myself that I'm just a small part of the whole of creation is a way I calm it. It also reminds us of what's at risk of vanishing completely if your mother gets her way. Indeed. But I have a feeling that with a life force like yours in play, that won't happen. Spider-Man would probably appreciate it if you looked in on him. I think he's quite impressed by you. Spider-Man! Spider-Man? Oh, hey, Hunter. Didn't see you there. Everything's fine. This is completely normal. All the top heroes do it, I'm sure. Do what? Practice their hero voice. In my case, my spider voice. I figured if I was going to be teaming up with this group, I ought to up my game. Sound more, I don't know, scary, I guess. Well, your spider voice is very... noticeable. Really? Did it give you pause? Strike fear in your heart as you approach the spider's lair? It struck something. Yes! That means a lot to me, coming from you. I don't know too many demon hunters. It's nice to get an expert opinion every now and then. And if I might add an opinion of my own, you are much nicer than Craven. I actually came here to thank you. Thank me? For what? And by the way, does this thanks also involve pizza? I have to say battling Eddie always works up the appetite. If I were to acquire this pizza, who would I give it to? Your identity remains a mystery to us all. 
Oh, you want to meet the spider man beneath the mask? Sorry, that's a no-go. My true identity is a closely guarded secret. Not even MJ or Aunt May know for... Wait... I see what you're doing there. Sorry, Hunter, the mask's gotta stay on. I hope that's not gonna make things weird between us. The Abbey is a place of many secrets. Your identity is safe within these walls. It's not the walls here I'm worried about. It's out there in the real world where the people I love are. No mask can hide you or them from Lilith. Her gaze can pierce your very soul. Heesh. Reminds me of my best friend's dad. And that was before he became a flying goblin. I know this is not easy for you, Spider-Man. The people here are very different from one another. They do not always see eye to eye. But one thing I can say in truth is that I trust them with my very life. L lives. Wait, did you just say lives as in plural? Yes. I am really going to enjoy getting to know you, Hunter. And we would enjoy getting to know you. The real you. Listen, let me think it over, all right? It's a big decision. Gotta meditate on it. Check my horoscope. Roll it around in my head, and maybe we'll talk soon. Cool? Cool. I really need to think this over. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Run? Bruce, you told me you were on it for days. I meant process my findings. This coil of yours is no simple substance. There's no one-click option. I get it. Just get back to me as soon as you can. You'll be the first I call. Something amiss, Captain? Nope, nothing. Just Bruce being Bruce. More importantly... Really glad we got Spider-Man back, Hunter. Not sure if you've noticed it, but these end-of-day scenarios really tend to put a damper on morale. It's nice to get a solid win, you know? Every victory we have inches us closer to stopping Lilith. And every life we save... ...is another ally against her. In this case, a wisecracking, radioactive Spider-Man ally. Which is a good thing, now that we know Hydra has been augmenting their soldiers with this radioactive green gamma shampoo. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Speaking of helping, should probably get back to it. There's a certain special Hydra mad scientist out there whose face is just begging for a smacking. And these gamma signatures of his don't seem to want to analyze themselves. Talk to you later. Always on the hunt, right? forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. As you wish. 
You don't have enough time. Take down anyone standing in your way of that truck. That should be no trouble. Get the truck and take it out. It shouldn't be that hard for a bunch of superheroes. Even up. Get back from this one. Alright, hold for that. We're all gonna get it. Man, that's 
guys are really into me, huh? the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to That is really something. That truck isn't going anywhere, but you'll have to deal with Hydra before you can head home. Hydra. our chances. You were too weak for this fight. That should put a dent in their operations. Nicely done. I need your help. Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. What do you need me to do? If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. Do you really need me to do this? I don't, but I want them to see more of what I see, that you're part of the team. It'll mean a lot coming from you. All right, let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do. Probably tomorrow? Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? Where are we going to have the party? I'm still scouting locations, but somewhere inside the Abbey. We'll make it work. That is all I had. 
I am good for now. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. And so you actually slept in that thing. That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's, uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in L.A. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here, never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically-powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey, man. It's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and pizza? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. Wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Oh yeah, I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of, now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this Spider-Verse? I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragon men, but I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a field-trip-gone-wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Well... A small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told my Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. 
So, how about you? Get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? Years of discipline and training under Caretaker's guidance forged me into the warrior I am today. Caretaker is like your aunt, right? Yes, sister to Lilith. She raised me when my mother... fell. Aunt May became my guardian after my parents... um... passed. I guess we have that in common. I suppose we do. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them, um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? Perhaps according to a prophecy, but in truth, it is only unified together that we will all prevail over Lilith and Cathan. Ego is simply the tool of our enemy. You sure you're not already an Avenger? Definitely know a guy who'd love to hear that. Here's a hint. It rhymes with smapped in Hermerica. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. Might still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. Makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been hunting? At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. That is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course. I mean, whatever gets you senior discounts sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. I wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well, I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. It must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? From what Caretaker has told me, Lilith ceased being my mother the day she gave her soul to the Darkhold. The mother of demons is all that remains now. There's some movies you and I really need to watch. It used to be a trilogy. Now, I've lost count. Either way, call me a romantic, but I believe there's still good in everyone. Guess that's why I have a soft spot for Eddie. And the symbiote, too. That symbiote saved my life on more than a few occasions. Deep down, I know there's more than what you see on that slimy, oozing, brain-eating surface. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was... eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sorta of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through! Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon. Of that I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. <laughs>